First, stop the pump by pressing the stop start key. Stop pump displays. Press yes. Program the pump by scrolling up or down to highlight the patient's specific parameter you want to change. Then press Select. Unlock the keypad using the security code. The patient specific parameter is displayed. Scroll up or down to the new value, then press Save. Repeat the steps for each patient's specific parameter that you want to change. When programming is complete, Press the Stop Start button. Review Pump Settings displays. Press Review. Choose Accept Value to confirm the value is correct for the highlighted patient-specific parameter or press Select to edit the highlighted parameter. Continue until all patient-specific parameters have been reviewed Accepted and display check marks. Press Next. Start pump displays. Then press Yes. Note that if a security code was used to unlock the keypad, the keypad automatically relocks when the pump is started. Press the Stop Start key and the Stop Pump displays. Press Yes. Remove the empty cassette and attach a new cassette. After changing the cassette, Set Reserver Volume Displays. Press Yes. Then the screen displays the current reserver volume and reset. Press Yes. Scroll up or down to adjust the value and press Save. Prime Cubing Displays. Press Yes. Then press the Prime key. Once priming is complete, press Stop Priming. Continue priming this space. Press Yes if priming is still required or No if priming is complete. Then Review Pump Settings this space. Press Review. Choose Accept Value to confirm the value is correct for the highlighted patient specific parameter or press Select to edit the highlighted parameter. Continue until all patient-specific parameters have been reviewed, accepted, and display check marks. Press Next. Start Pump Displays. Press Yes. If you are not starting the pump immediately, press No when start pump appears. 
Lock the keypad by pressing the right soft key, then lock keypad. Ensure that the cassette is also locked by turning the cassette lock clockwise to the lock position. The pump must be running when giving clinician bolus. From the home screen, press Task. Give clinician bolus displays. Press Select. Enter the clinician security code. The screen displays the clinician bolus scroll range available. Scroll up or down until the desired value appears and press Deliver. Choose to stop bolus anytime during delivery to cancel the bolus. After the desired value is delivered, clinician bolus complete displays. Press OK. Never leave the pump unattended while on the clinician bolus edit screen. You must press back to go to home screen. Reports should be cleared in accordance with institution policy. The pump may be running or stopped to view reports. From the home screen, press reports. Scroll up or down to the desired report and press Select. To clear reports, highlight given and PCE dose counters and press Select. Choose Clear Given to clear total given and scroll down to press Clear Doses. Press back to return to the reports menu and then press back again to return to the home screen. From the home screen, press Task. Scroll down to View Reports and press Select. Highlight Given and PCE Dose Counters. Choose Clear Given to clear Total Given and scroll down to PCE Doses Given Attempted and press Clear Doses. Press back to return to the reports menu, then press back again to return to the home screen. Stop the pump when changing the battery. Stop pump displays press yes. Remove the used batteries and insert the new batteries. Press the power switch to turn the pump on. The screen displays, do you want to start a new patient? Press No, then start the pump. The screensaver allows the pump to conserve battery power when not in an edit mode and if no keypad buttons have been pressed for 30 seconds. The pump displays a blank screen. Press any button on the keypad to turn the display on. To remove the cassette, insert the pump key and turn the cassette lock counterclockwise into the unlock position. Push down onto the cassette latch 
until the cassette detaches. To attach the cassette to the pump, make sure the cassette latch is unlocked and open. Insert the cassette hooks into the hinge pins on the bottom of the pump. Holding the pump in your hands, push down on the cassette latch and push up on the cassette until it firmly clicks into place. Lift the cassette latch into the closed position. Insert the pump key and turn clockwise into the lock position.